Okay guys, so today you will have a look at PyCore Player, which is a complete audio software solution for Raspberry Pi. You can install PyCore Player in three different ways. You can use it just as a player, which will be a squeeze light renderer, or you can use it as a music server, which will be a Logitech media server, or you can use it as both player and also music media server. Today I'll show you option number three, so we'll install everything what we need, so we can actually use Raspberry Pi as a network streaming player using Tidal as a streaming service, and also I'll show you the actual playback from local files. I'll show you how PyCore Player and Logitech Media Server looks on different devices, so you can see the user interface, you can see how it looks on a mobile, how it looks on a tablet and on a desktop. I'll show you all the features and possibilities of extension and services you can use with PyCore Player. What is beautiful about this particle platform is that the actual distro, the system is very minimalistic and then basically you have plenty of options how you can customize the overall system and experience for your particle needs. So we'll go through the entire installation step by step. I'll show you how to install PyCore Player. I'll show you how to install Logitech Media Server, how to make it work together. And also I'll show you because I'll be using a bigger SD card, my 128 gigabyte SD card, how to use the SD card as a local storage for your music files. Okay, so I'll be using Rufus as a software for the actual flashing of the image. You can use Balena Etcher or something similar. So let's go and download the ISO. Let's have a look how big it is. Okay, when you go to a download page, there is some small guide how to download and proceed. As you can see, you have also an option to choose experimental real-time kernel. I'll be using the standard version, but you can choose whatever you would like to try. Okay, so let's click on that. As you can see, the zip file is really small. It's about 60 megabytes. After unzipping, it's around 300 megabytes. So the actual flashing should be really fast because the image is very small in comparison, for example, with Mood Audio, which is 3.8 gigabytes. Okay, we flashed the image on our SD card and booted up our Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, this is the first welcome screen of PyCore Player. Okay, then we have some main sections I'll go through later on. There is a lot of settings I will not go through because it's, it will be like two hours a video to explain uh, a lot of things, but I'll show you the main things which you have to do. So you have your Logitech Media Server and Player fully working. Uh, the main sections, as you can see, are main page. Then you have a squeeze light settings, Wi-Fi settings, tweaks, and Logitech Media Server setting. And then obviously about section as well, which is uh, basically the welcome screen. Okay, so let's go to the main page. As you can see, the main page has some particular sections. First is basically the status. We can see that squeeze light is currently running. So if you would be uh, using Raspberry Pi just as a squeeze light renderer, you can basically use it as it is when you set up your audio output device. But we'll be doing much more. First, I recommend to do is to prepare our SD card, prepare it for installation of Logitech Media Server, prepare it for our media files, our music files. So it needs some work to be done. So we'll go through it first, but let's have a look. As you can see on the top, you have some shortcuts for playback and you have also a shortcut for Logitech Media Server and help. And squeeze light settings, you can see output device which we have to select i'll be using again for this particular review and demonstration a smsl iq dac but you can see that there is a huge support for other gpi or audio heads DACs, digital interfaces allo hi fiberry plenty of them i believe you will find your device there so let's save it as usually we have to reboot so we get all those informations needed for the audio playback in our config file Okay, so let's boot it. I'll get back to you when it's rebooted. Okay, so we have our output device set. Now let's go through 
DSD card preparation. So we have to resize the partition. We have to resize the system first, which I recommend. I recommend it for one reason, and that is for future updates. Okay, if we will need to update fully the system, I recommend to extend a little bit for safety reasons the root partition. 300 megabytes is pretty pretty generous, I believe, for, for a root partition. Okay, so last the date will take some time and we'll need to reboot. Okay, as you can see, the countdown is around 90 seconds. So I'll speed it up so you don't need to wait. Okay, so now we are back. Let's go through a couple of other settings. Just let's have a sneak peek so you can see what is there. Elements is a shortcut for Logitech Media Server. So now the SD card is obviously not, not ready. What I like to do before proceeding with anything else is to switch the user interface to beta, which is on the bottom. When we switch that, the user interface extends about a couple of things which we wouldn't see before. So now when we go to a resize partition section again, we can see that we have additional option to add another partition number three, which is called data. And that's what exactly what we need. What it will do is it will extend and use the whole entire free space on my SD card for this particular partition. So we can then later on use the whole free space for our music files. So let's do it. Okay, it will take again some time. Okay, so now the partition is created, but there is a warning as you can see that we have to mount the partition. That's always in a Linux, any version of Linux, any partition has to be set uh, and mounted. So when the system boots up, it finds it and mounts. So now let's go to Logitech Media Server section because we have to prepare the system for the installation of it. So before you click on install, we have to install and enable additional file systems. Okay, so let's click on it, let's install it. I really like the integration of that kind of terminal on the top when you can see what's happening. It's not just in the background that I really like. Okay, now I recommend to install XFAT support. That's the uh, first part. Another part, another step should be the mounting point. We have to mount our data partition. So for that, we have to click on enable and we have to set the mounting point, which is in our case, MNT slash data. Okay, let's set and mount it. Perfect. So now we can go back. All right. Now what I recommend is uh, set and move all the cache to that partition. So everything like that is in one place. All the caching files and everything which we will need. So like that we are ready to install Logitech Media Server. Later on, we'll install Samba, so we can actually copy our music files from my laptop to Raspberry Pi, so Logitech Media can see it, cache it, and we'll see it in our music library. Okay, so as you can see, it takes some, some time, but now it's ready. By default, it said that it will start as a service after a reboot. Uh, right now, obviously, it's just installed, not running, so let's reboot. We have to go on a main page, and on the first section, you can see there is a button, reboot. Okay, so let's reboot. It will take approximately around 40 seconds, 30 Okay, so I'll get back to, I'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, so we are back and as you can see on the main page appeared LMS is running. We have green icons for Squeeze Lite and also Logitech Media, but still we have to set up a Logitech Media Server. Okay, so let's go through it. As you can see in the Logitech Media Server section, there is a button Logitech Media Server web page. Let's first set up Samba. So first, let's install Samba. 
Okay, now what we have to do is we have to set the name work group for a name or I'll use Spike or Player. A work for a work group, I recommend to use the same one your laptop or PC is in, so it's easier to find. Okay, then we will put a password, but first we have to set the actual folder on our partition so we can actually tell to Samba which particular folder should be shared. So it needs a name and it needs the actual path. So as a name, as a share name, I'll be using data. Share path should be mount slash mnt slash data, as you can see. Here. Okay, now we can press the set shares. Okay, somebody is restarting and it should be almost ready. We just need to set the password. I'll be using TC because the username by default is TC as well, because then I will disable it anyway. Okay, so now let's see if uh, we can see our Pi Core player on network. Okay, so as you can see, it's there. So when we click on it, it will ask us for a login details. Okay, we can see there is the folder data. Okay, in my case is TCTC. And now we have that folder and partition available for our file. So I'll copy all my test files there. I'll speed it up so you don't need to wait. Okay, one thing I forgot, I forgot to set the right permission for that particular folder. So let's do it now. So what you have to do is go to that mounting options and click on set right permissions. Confirm OK, I'm sure. And now it should work. Again, the speed depends on your network and how fast it's your SD card. In my case, it's never more than 37, 38 for some reason. I don't know, but uh, it's pretty enough for me. OK, so now we can go finally to our Logitech Media server and set it up. First, what you will need to have is and set up is your squeeze box logitech squeeze box account if you don't have it you have to create it so you have to go to mysqueezebox.com and create your account if you have it you just need those login details what we will need to do is also when we are finally logged in we all need to set up our applications it's called applications but I would call it more like music streaming services. So as you can see, there is plenty of options. In my case, I'll be using Tidal. As you can see, there is plenty of others like BBC, some radios, Deezer, Spotify and other. Okay, so I'll be using Tidal. I will add it to my apps. So then I can see it in my Logitech Media Server and use it. So you will need to set up yours. The actual setup and adding apps to your squeeze box is basically about a login information which you have to put there. So actually Logitech squeeze box links with your Tidal or Obus or other kind of streaming services you are using. So let's log in now to our squeeze box account so we can finally proceed. So next, now we have to set and tell to Logitech Media Server where actually our files, music files are. Okay, so in our case, it's the folder data and also playlists will be stored there. So, okay, next. And that's the first initial setup. So now we can see how Logitech Media Server looks by default. That's the usual interface, the usual look of Logitech Media Server and uh, Logitech Media Player. Okay, as we can see, we have some basic interface. When we have my music section, as I can see, it's still not everything there. For, so we, we will need to refresh the library. Uh, as you can see, you can sort by album, artist, search, the usual stuff. Um, below, as you can see, we have a section for radio and uh, my apps. As you can see, nothing is there. So we have to first go to a configuration, which is on the right bottom side to the settings and put again our my squeeze box login informations there and save, save them. That's the first thing uh, we need to do. So it actually links properly. And then what I suggest so we can get rid, get rid of this old fashioned look, I recommend to install something much more better looking 
material skin okay that I'll be using you have to click apply Logitech media server needs to restart go ok Let's launch it again. I'm just giving it a little bit of time so it can restore properly. You have to go to settings again and change the interface uh, to material skin. Apply. And voila. Okay. All right. So now we need to refresh. Again, the page so you can see the change of the look and what a change. How beautifully looking interface. Thank you to developers of that material skin, which is regularly updated. I'm really thankful for this skin. If there are some other skins, please let me know in the comments below. But I really love this one. So now you can see how it looks when you go to albums. Beautiful, everything in higher resolution. When I go to apps now, I can see my title. I can also see my mixes, which is not always there when you go for some integration. So I'm happy that it's there. It's not just about favorite songs and uh, my playlists and on the right side as you can see we have a queue this is the playing queue this is our current queue current playlist as you can see on the bottom we have a progress bar we have a resolution the actual bitrate on the top we have a volume bar and there is a full screen button okay everything clean I really love it. The interface like that is perfect for my use. It's absolutely perfect. Okay. Again, we can sort it out alphabetically. We can go for a lot of things. How we can find our music. We can set favorites. Favorites work actually together. Even when you stream with title, it remembers the path to title song. So it's not like on some other players when. You actually can do favorites only on your local stored files. It works together, which is amazing. Okay, so now let's have a look how PyCore Play all looks like on a mobile. Okay, album view. This is the main menu. You can see title. Everything is there. My mixes. Playlists. Everything. Okay, let's play the first one. Okay, as you can see, everything is working. I like the user interface, it's so simple. All the buttons are very responsive. Okay, and uh, how about tablet? Let's switch to a tablet and see how it performs there. Okay, so on a tablet you can see it's very similar to a desktop view in that landscape orientation. Everything is responsive. The adaptation of the resolution and screen is perfect. It works the same way. Nothing is too small, nothing is too big. Okay, title. Perfect. Okay, so what are my thoughts about PyCore Player? An overall conclusion about this particular solution as a music audio file player for Raspberry Pi. I have to say first when I made my first sneak peek at Squeeze Light and uh, Logitech Media Server, I wasn't impressed. There were some issues. I tried some things on my desktop. Some things didn't work. 
especially the uh, up integration. But with Raspberry Pi, as you can see, with a little bit of work, this is absolutely robust platform. I believe everyone can be happy. For me, it was rock stable. The interface with the material skin is a big improvement. I believe I wouldn't use this particular solution if there wouldn't be the material skin that I have to admit. It's helped me a lot to convince me a lot. Functionality top notch. There is absolutely no issues with that. Overall, I like it. And uh, this is, I think, one of the best solutions. If you customize it for your needs and for your liking, I highly recommend it. Please again, as I said, this is a completely free solution, a free audio file solution. So go on Pi Course Player website and uh, donate appreciated work of developers and all those community people behind it and enjoy your music and enjoy this particular audio file solution on your Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching.